it's been a busy day at polls across the country, especially here in Hines County as people head out to cast their vote. 12 News, Marie Menefield has more on what voters are expecting out of this election. Yes, tell not at any of the polling locations that you go to, you can expect to be met with long lines and a wait time. And lines have been wrapped around the buildings throughout the day at some of the polling places that we went to this morning. Around Hines County, polls are running smoothly, but there is a lingering tenseness in the air as this election will shift the trajectory of the country for the years to come. A lot of dynamics going on in the world right now that has a lot of folks concerned. And so I just encourage get out and vote, regardless of who it is. Be heard. I think we need, it's a lot going on that need to be changed for these next four years. If we decide to vote in the right way, and it'll help us out as uh, city of Jackson and all over. So. People will be voting in the presidential race, congressional elections, and races for the state Supreme Court and for the Court of Appeals. Despite who wins the race, citizens want the winners to do what's best for the people. Overall, I just want it to be fair. Just the fairness, people that's in the office that's going to look out for the people, not just for themselves or their own political affiliation, but for the people. It's more than just the presidential election on this day. It's other things that you're voting for that are key for our state and for the country. Make a difference. And there are a number of concerns for people heading into today's election. I think women's rights is a big thing for me. Um, I think um, people's rights. Um, it's our responsibility to take care of our brother. Um, so I think for me um, that that there is a less of a, a disparity in wealth is a, a, a bit of an issue with me. Of course, the economy is important as well. I think the economy, to be honest, I mean, inflation is really high. Um, gas, going out to get your groceries, all of life's essentials are really difficult to sustain right now. And also, I think what this election represents in terms of you know, loving thy neighbor and getting along. Polls are open until 7 p.m. And as long as you are in line before then, you will still be able to cast your vote. Now 12 News is your local election headquarters and we will have continued coverage and live election updates as results come in this evening. Reporting live in Jackson, Marie Minifil, 12 News. All right, thanks, Marie, for that. Well, voters are making sure their voices are heard on this election day in Rankin County as well. The voting process was smooth at Crossgates United Methodist Church. Many showed up to the polls throughout the morning. One Brandon resident who I caught up with said this presidential election motivated him to actually exercise his right to vote. Another resident said it's a priority for her to vote year after year. I have not voted in quite a while and I feel ashamed about that. But hey, you came out today. Oh, definitely, definitely. I had to be here today, just had to be. So it's so, so important for this country and for the, and actually for everything in this world that's going on today. Many people have fought for us, you know, and uh, I just want to be a voice, you know, for the young people, you know, to encourage them that, you know, you need to, you need to, um, you know, put, literally pull your pants up and get on the streets. And, you know, our people have fought for this for, you, you know, years and decades decades and, 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 and centuries even for us to be able to cast a vote. Of course, and be sure to stay with 12 News on air and online. We will have team coverage throughout the day. Remember, 12 News is your local election headquarters.